everyone welcome back to another paint with me in my sketchbook i wanted to work on a fun sketchbook spread and just like experiment and try some new things out today so i decided to do a painting if you've followed me for a while you'll probably know that my go-to supplies for sketchbook spreads are markers and my ink pen and like sometimes watercolors and gouache too but lately i've been really into acrylic paints for some reason and uh, I wanted to do a portrait with those today. For me, I feel like painting skin tones and portraits in general is really intimidating and it's so much easier to do portraits when you just have flat colors or limited colors like with markers. So this is a bit out of my comfort zone and I already had this like big splotch of paint on the page. Um, whenever I finish painting I usually have some like leftover paints and I don't want to waste it so I'll just like paint a bunch of whatever color I have left over on a blank page and work with it for my next spread. So today's subject is Rina Sawayama and I have been listening to her music a lot lately. She's amazing and I've also really enjoyed looking at her makeup looks that she posts on Instagram pretty often. So today's drawing slash painting is one of those makeup posts. And so in this post she has green eyeliner, like smoky eye sort of situation, and then like really warm bronzy gold blush all over her face, freckles, and a peachy lip color. So I thought this would be a really nice like contrast of colors against the ultramarine against the ultramarine blue paint that's already on the paper. So throughout this video you may see my phone pop up to record little bits. I'm really trying to branch into more process videos and like I know that over like across different social medias that videos are really trendy and really popular and that's what like captures people's attention the best. And um, Instagram has really become a nightmare for me to try to navigate. And I thought that like using their reels would help. And if I like started making reels to promote my stuff in a different way, um, that it would be helpful. So I like I played around with those a couple of times and I just ended up getting so angry because the whole app would crash. The video editor is really clunky and really hard to use and just all around wasn't working for me at all. So after a couple tries, I gave up on that. And I am hesitantly trying out TikTok for process videos, kind of like this one. And like, I say hesitantly, cause like, I don't really wanna follow whatever is trendy. Like I wanna do my own thing and post the stuff that I like to see. But the way that social media works right now, um, especially for smaller creators and artists, like if you can't keep up with the new trends and what's going on, you'll just keep getting your content pushed further and further away from your followers. So I've already definitely felt a lot of that and a lot of my content not reaching everyone and really like struggling to try to get the amount of engagement that I need on posts for it to even like be shown to most of my followers. I find it really frustrating and I also don't want to have to like put so much effort into it you know like it shouldn't be that much work to have half of my followers see a post like that's ridiculous I don't know how that's gotten just so normalized that we need to put so much effort into Instagram it's ridiculous I I don't know I think it's ridiculous <sighs> yeah I figured that if I can balance the type of stuff that I want to post along with like other content like on TikTok or like short little videos on Instagram or whatever that I could probably be happy with that. Um, I really do like making videos especially YouTube videos like this and the shorter videos are so much of a challenge for me like it's definitely a learning curve to try to squeeze a huge process like this painting took me like a couple of hours to do the sketchbook page and like TikTok wants you to do it in like 30 seconds or a minute and I'm like oh my god that's not much time at all. So I really do like kind of the longer form YouTube videos like this um, but yeah I'm really trying my best so I will leave my uh, TikTok in the description so you can check that out and hopefully I'll, I'll get the hang of that soon. A lot of people ask for advice or tips on sketchbook spreads and kind of how I come up with things and how I fill the page and just my general inspiration for what I decide to put in my sketchbook. And 
for the most part, mine are just all like whatever I feel like drawing that day. And it's as simple and as complicated as that. With this spread, I was listening to music and just trying to be like expressive with my brush strokes and create a lot of texture and color to give this kind of like vibe or feeling. And I'm not even really sure what that feeling is supposed to be, but I guess it's kind of up to the viewer to decide that. I knew I wanted something else in the spread other than just a portrait, so I wanted something a little more structural to contrast the organic shapes of a face. So I kind of looked around on Pinterest for a bit and saw these old neon signs for motels and businesses and really liked the way they looked. And I settled with this one, uh, which is for like a drive-in. And I thought the colors were really cool and it would look really nice uh, with the blue background. So kind of that like mint green and then the bright orange. I thought those colors would look really cool with that. And I also liked that the arrow on the sign would point to the subject of the page. So yeah, I just, that's kind of my thought process for choosing that. It has really nothing to do with like being inspired by a drive-in. Like it just, it just was a visual that I thought looked cool. So I um, added some like loose florals along the bottom of the page to kind of fill it up and um, kind of like frame everything and use these flowers to kind of point more towards um, her face. You always want to like direct the attention towards the face in a painting or a portrait of someone. Um, I guess not always. It depends on what you're going for, but generally. <laughs> I never really get sick of plants and flowers. I think they always look good to me and make things feel more like lush and alive and it's super cold and gray outside. This is like my least favorite part of winter, so I definitely needed some bright things to contrast that and bring a little bit of bring a little brightness and life into the sketchbook page. So that is what I came up with for this sketchbook spread and I tried to keep it as loose as I could and just like focus on having fun and I'm really happy with it and I feel like I did have a lot of fun making it. Um, the little short video that I made turned out pretty good too I think. <laughs> Let me know what kind of content you prefer. Like, do you prefer like shorter bits like on TikTok or longer talky videos like this? Um, I'm super curious because I like both at different times of the day. kind of depends on what I have the attention span for. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my other social media stuff for more and I will see you guys in the next video.